I have been a big supporter of what's called the STEM program, science, and technology, and engineering, and math. We're adding arts to it. What's valuable about that is you're not just looking at issues sort of in the abstract. In other words, when you're there with a, a textbook and you're reading page four and then page five and page six. So your goal here as part of this is to protect the egg and sort of make it stronger. You're trying to see what does it really mean? And then when you can put your hands, for example, on a project that uh, we saw, for example, like uh, exploring the moon, that really makes it real. And you can't just get that from turning the pages in a book. I really like the lander, so when a solar system object has an atmosphere, Air resistance. About if, if you go slow, uh, the oobleck will make you sink, and if you go fast, you won't sink. All landers are really heavy, so it's hard to make them go fast. So that was one of our challenges. I saw how incredibly excited they were about their science. I mean, you could just see enthusiasm coming out of practically every pore, and obviously for that, uh, the teachers and the staff deserve enormous credit. Getting young people excited about education doesn't happen by osmosis. It's something that keeps Merc, uh, the rover from melting. Uh, yes, uh, it looks a lot, you see the satellite right here, it looks a lot like that. Educational opportunity is really the path to making sure that young people and those who are going to be our future leaders have a lot of opportunities. You're on, you're on something good. Thanks very much. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. What I saw today is that this school has powered far beyond anything that is going on in Washington, D.C. And that's why I give the students and their faculty and, and their families enormous credit. We're really proud of the incredibly important science work that you're doing here. And uh, I'm looking forward to co coming back and, uh, and staying in touch, okay?